<laughs> so we're live again. Hold on, I gotta. I have to like fix my hat. That's crazy. I gotta test this out. Are you live on what? Hilco? No, on my page. Well, let's see. Highland of Marco, Romero. Here we are. All right. Sweater. That's pretty good volume. Franklin just jumped in. Hey, Franklin. And Anthony. Hello. So I put as a topic of this video, private money. Which we kind of talked about earlier today for those of you who watched the Romero Roadmap at 1 o'clock. PJ just jumped in. Hey, PJ. So I decided to jump in on this one today because I did a lot of commentary on your other one. Yeah, I was trying to go Facebook Live last time, and we had the peanut gallery over there <laughs> talking a whole bunch. Raul just jumped in. Hey, Raul. Haven't seen you in a while. Dwayne. Hey, hey. R Ricardo says, hey, guys. Hey, Ricardo. How are you? Haven't seen you in a while either. Hope everything's good in H-Town. Casey's in here, too. Casey, hope everything's well. Heather just jumped in. Hi, Heather. Good evening. Good evening. It's officially evening at 6, right? Alfred, hello. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about private money. Yep. Where do you want to start with private money? Do you want your music on? Yeah, and giving people some jams. Is that okay? Where do we want to, what do I want to do? Talk about? Where do we want to start with private money? Well, I guess I'll start at the first place. The first place would be, how do you get private money? <laughs> well, there you go. Dwayne says, what's up? <laughs> or what is up but what's up i i Dwayne, are you going to be in vegas in a couple of weeks probably Two? yes well, well, we're, if you are we're looking forward to seeing you pat hilton just jumped in hey, hey pat. pat hello hello thank you for jumping in all right so paul also thank you good evening thank you for coming in here we're talking private money just to tell you a little bit about us hillary and i have purchased all of our properties utilizing private money mm -hmm. We've raised almost $3 million in private money across all the deals that we've done, which is a pretty awesome thing for us. We're trying to do more, and uh, we wanted just to kind of have a conversation about it. If you have questions, jump in. Throw a question at us. If you yeah. have uh, comments or your own experiences, you know, let's have a, a conversation, not just a one way, us just gurgitating towards you. DD, hey, hello, DD. Hope all is well. Lamar just jumped in and Paul as well. So how do you get it? How how are how have we gotten some private money? In the, in so the, past? the first thing is really just planting the seed, right? Like you have to talk to people and network with people to even know if people have money or if they're even interested in private lending. So I think for a while we kind of just told a lot of people that we knew, anybody. Like we didn't like discriminate. We pretty much just told everybody. We're looking to do this. We're trying to invest. We need private funds. We can pay a pretty good rate of return. Are you interested or do you know of anybody who's interested? And even if they're not interested in the moment, like right then, or let's say they don't have the funds available, that doesn't mean in six months or whenever in the future that they're going to not have it available. They can always, you know, something comes up or they inherit money or, you know, you never know. Um, maybe they're at that point they're ready to touch their I don't know, their 401k. I don't know. But maybe you just never know. So it's one of those things where just continue to have conversations with people and see what happens. Yep, that's exactly right. So we got Taylor that just jumped in. Burton said, hey, beautiful hey, peeps. Burton. Hey, hey. Dee Dee says, hey, and all good. I'm glad to hear that, Dee Dee. Jennifer, thank you for always jumping in and supporting. Kenyon, thank you for coming in and watching as well. And Ashley, hey, Ashley, hope all is well with you. I think that's everybody. Taylor yeah. just jumped in. All right. Uh, yes, you got to just ask people, talk to people, plant the seed, you know, start some conversations around, hey, I want to acquire properties this year. It's 2020. It's a new year. It's a new decade. Yeah. And I'm looking for people to join me on this journey. If I found a good deal with good numbers and in, in, in the right spot, would you be interested in looking at that deal with me? And there'll be a lot of some yeses, a ton of no's, and some maybes, and then everybody, you just got to follow up with them. Yep. Just touch base a week from now, a month from now, six months from now. There's one private lender I've been working on for three years and still haven't gotten her, but you know, <laughs> maybe. maybe this year, maybe this year. 
And so you just got to touch base with them. Go have lunch with them. Go have coffee yeah. with them. Go have conversations. If you're looking at a deal, email it to them. If you bought a deal, have them walk through it with you. Put yourself in a position where you're having conversations with people that may potentially lend to you. Yep. That's the number one. Okay. Who are just examples of people as far as connections to us that we have private lenders? Some friends, family? Friends, family, uh, friends of my parents, some people that Marco's parents have known for a couple years, other investors that they've, you know, his parents are actually investors as well. They're kind of in a position though where they're trying to like offload a lot of their properties. They've sold some to us mm -hmm. at discounts, which is nice. Keeping it in the family, helping us out a little bit. Um, it, I mean, honestly, just, I don't even know, longtime family friends of ours, um, family friends that I've known since I was young, young, like five, six, seven, who, you know, saw what we were doing for a couple of years and then they were finally ready to um, give us some funds and they, they're one of our biggest private lenders now, so. Totally. Lamar asks, oh, wait, hold on. I need to go back. Jade jumped in. Hey, Jade. Uh, Cassie says, great information, Hillary. I guess the Girls info, rule, boys drool. I guess the info I'm giving <laughs> ain't, ain't up to par. Mike is watching. Hey, Mike. Lamar says, what's your average ROR that you pay your private money lenders? So we've paid anywhere from 6 to 10%. Our average has been 8.25, but we've actually, on our most recent deals, have been going closer to 7%. But every deal is a little bit different. They're all uh, unique, you know, different purchase prices, different values, different rent rolls. And, and sometimes, too, if we can't, like, make the numbers necessarily work for a higher interest rate, um, we might offer, like, a bonus at the end. Once we sell, we might give them a couple thousand just as, like, a bonus um, just because we, we wanted to make the deal work. So it kind of works for everybody. Yeah. So that's a great way that when we're negotiating, I'll say, hey, let's do this lower interest rate, maybe 7%. And they're like, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, I'm, I've been looking for eight and a half or nine. Well, how about I give you the 7%, but when I pay off the loan, I'll pay you a pure interest payment of 2000 bucks or 1000 bucks or 3000 bucks or whatever it is so that they get that extra money. And the return is the same for them at the end. But during the life of the loan, we have nice cash flow because interest rates lower. So that's a good one. Took me a while to think of that one. Uh, hey, Monica, thank you for jumping in. Didi says she knows some hard money lenders. So if you're looking for some hard money lending, reach out to Didi. Uh, Bobby's in here. Hey, Bobby. I've been seeing you've been really active lately. Keep it up, man. Jonathan, hello, hello. Thank you for jumping in. Didi says, I can email you if you are looking for others uh, than those you use. Always looking for any potentials. So you can email me. And anyone else that's interested, uh, message Didi. Maybe she can hook you up too. Akeem jumped in. Will, there's a group of people. Jade is a hard money lender. She, in fact, sponsors us at Hilka Homes. She's our preferred hard money lender. So, She's with Longhorn Investments. Yes, Longhorn we didn't Investments. Mention that. I guess that's important, right? Yeah. And she says, "What's up, We can up, give homies? you her contact info. You can directly connect with her. She's on the stream right now. Hit us up with some questions. All right, the the comments are coming in. I'm like having trouble keeping up. All right, this okay. one. Burton. Burton, we miss you. <laughs> you whole scaling. You were, you were the life of the party, man. All right, have you pulled investors together to fund a single property? And yes. I wasn't even done. You're so excited. <laughs> You'd, you would totally fail on Family Feud. No, the I would. I would actually not, be really good. The question's not done, and you're, like, hitting the buzzer, and then you, like, no, get the answer would, completely wrong. He's totally selling me short right now. That's not fair. All right, let's see. So if so, curious to know how the payout works when the property sale, the property sells or is being cash flowed, or do you prefer one investor to one property? So what are your thoughts so on that? So no, we just purchased recently, I don't remember when exactly, uh, a fiveplex, and we actually have seven lenders on this one property. They're in first lien, second lien, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Our our largest loan was a hundred thousand, and our smallest loan, I believe, you said was eighteen thousand right. earlier today. Mm -hmm. So we have all seven that are in different positions within the loan. They all have promissory notes, deeds, everything. So like, it's really awesome. You can just you just got to get creative with your with your money and your people and make it work. And you're the steward of the deal, so you need to make sure that you properly assess the numbers you handle the rehab project that you have funds yourself to kind of uh oversee any surprises those type of things 
It is ideal to have one investor to one property, but that's not realistic for all projects. So um, through your own track record and your experience, uh, we'll give that extra confidence to those other investors who might be in that second, third, fifth lean position. Uh, Connor's watching. Did Hello, we Connor. All his question. Yeah, I think I covered it all. You did too. Okay. Quentin just jumped in. Hello, Quentin. All right. Cassie says, you two, Marco, you two, of course, LOL, but Hillary was talking in the beginning. All right. Nice save, Cassie. Nice save. <laughs> Taylor says, take your time. Don't get screwed like me. You should know by who, Marco. <laughs> Wait, I didn't understand you that. You should know by who, Marco. Shh. So proud oh, of you. Oh, okay. I feel you. We're yes. like we're supposed to read minds right yes. now. Yes. Taylor, I know. Okay. All right, next question. Wait, one day I won't be scared and I will get back into it. I tried one time and got screwed the first time. That's right, man. You can always start from nothing. Start from nothing the second lot. time. You learned a lot. And you can do it and you'll come back stronger and smarter and better. Hernando just jumped in. Hello, Hernando. He's going to go Facebook Live at 7 p.m. So make sure to go to his Facebook page, Hernando RC. I don't know what his special subject is. Maybe you can put it in the, in the comments, but he's going to be talking some good stuff later tonight. PJ says, do you know any private lenders that are willing to lend out in South Texas? Interest only, non-recourse. Well, I don't know many lenders that would lend non-recourse. You definitely can negotiate an interest only loan. That's actually That's a, what we do. Ours is an interest only. That's what you can start that way. We started well, that way. Well, okay. Yes, True interest only you you can negotiate and it works fine you can keep the interest rate lower but then you're not paying down the the definitely balance. not non-recourse non-recourse and even if we did there are lenders sorry we're not gonna share <laughs> i'm not sharing well we we all of a sudden don't know any private lenders well you know it that's part of the thing is you gotta like build the relationships and even if we did most of our lenders are like they lend to us because they know our history they know that we're going to make our payments, so I don't know yeah. how to vouch for other people. If I, I've never done business with you, I can't really vouch for you. But there are some great hard money lenders like uh, that are out there. Like Jade and Dee Dee was mentioning she knows a she few. She knows a couple. There's others uh, too. And there's some that specialize in South Texas, which might be great for you. But honestly, you can you know reach out in the Facebook groups and see who's active over there or go to yeah, Rio's or Yeah, there's a ton of Facebook events. groups, so just be on all of those. Hernando says hello. B. Burton. Monica is all in here. Monica says you're welcome. Thank you, Monica. Justin, Maria. Uh, B is from Tennessee. All the way from Tennessee representing. I like that hello, name. hello. B. Dee Dee says you got it. Quentin says what's up? What's up? Lamar says what's your average initial PML private money lender term? Of course, the longer the better. All of ours have three year balloons. So. Within three years, we have to pay all of the funds back. So you always want to make sure you have different exit strategies because you never know what the market's going to do. Um, we always have like plan A, plan B, plan C. Our plan is always to um, take our property, rehab it. If it needs a lot of work, it might take a little longer. Um, if it doesn't need as much, obviously less. But then our priority is to put a tenant in there. We do tenant screening and placement. I do that for the both of us. Um, depends on the property. Some of them we hire out to do tenant placement. It just depends on this, the property and the time. Um, but we always do three-year minimum. We rent for a year. Capital gains goes down after you've held it for a year. So that's kind of our strategy right now. But we don't get anything less than a three-year minimum just because it gives us time to like figure out exactly what we want to do to give the money back. That was that was a beautiful, eloquent answer. I hope I answered that question. <laughs> yeah, we do 30-year amortization, okay? And the three-year balloon is our minimum balloon. We have but, done more than that. Yeah, we have some that are five-year, seven-year. We have some that at the three years, they like the mailbox money, so they just want to continue and extend. Right. So it just depends on the scenario. Sometimes it's like you would rather have the money working for you than getting it back, you yeah. know? It's really just the security of them being like, oh, I can get my money back if I need it. The reason we want 30-year amortization is because we want better cash flow. We're mm -hmm. doing this for cash flow. Burton says, LOL, I love you both, and I miss you guys too. Are, is, are you going to be there? And, no, I don't, I don't think so. Well, you should be there. We're gonna you should be go in, with PDP. There you go. You we're going to be, be in little, Vegas. You like, person. All right. Uh, B says, what are the criteria to secure a loan? Is it based on credit or deal base? Excellent question. That's a really good question. Because... Uh, 
you know, when you're first starting out, you're like, oh, getting a loan and, you know, hey, we're talking private money lending, but really just the idea of financing all together. There's those mental hurdles where you're like, oh, my credit isn't good enough. Or those there's those mental hurdles or I'm not going to qualify or I'm not going to be able to get that money. And, you know, me asking for $70,000, that's just out of my realm of possibility. When the reality is that's why we're focusing on private money right. because with private money lenders, they believe in you. And they and some of them are more sophisticated than others, but they believe in you. And they're also going to review the numbers of the deal and they're going to believe in the deal. They're safeguarded by the real estate itself. That's the collateral. But no one has ever pulled a credit check on us. No one has checked our bank statements. No one has done any of those things. It's literally just based off of their trust in us, just from reputation, from past things that Marco has done with people. So it's really like we we make sure to treat all of our private lenders like kings and queens. Like I will pay them before I pay myself. I will pay them before I pay anything else bill wise for our family because without them, we would not be doing any of this. I so am, we treat them like royalty. <laughs> I am willing to hawk my wife's jewelry to pay them before anything else. That's the kind of mentality you That's need to have. That's a no. <laughs> but we will we will make things work. We will adjust if we have to. Those bills are paid. Actually, I'm about I'm actually okay. So I'm actually going to pay the lenders tomorrow and I don't have to pay till February 1st. That's how good they got it. Mm -hmm. I make sure to pay like 2 weeks early, they get early every money. single they month. Get early money. To the point where some of them are like confused cuz they think they've missed a payment or they didn't get a payment and I'm like no no no. You just get them super, super early, which you're not expecting. <laughs> because we appreciate you and we respect the money you've given us. Yeah. So we're going to make sure our payment is to you, not on time, but early. And that's where, regardless of whether we're like evicting somebody, foreclosing on somebody, it doesn't matter the scenario. You're going to get your money before anything else. Exactly. Yep. Dee, Dee says, time to get dinner. I'll email you guys. Always good to see you. Thank you for jumping in and watching. We would love to get dinner. Quinn says Hillary uh, Hillary would totally win in Family Feud. It's true. I don't know. She has like, like a okay, quick trigger there. Did you no, see that earlier? I have a quick trigger, but like, see, the thing is, is Marco is slothy. So but I get the family... answer right. So when you hit <laughs> the doesn't... buzzer and get the wrong no, answer, then I no. just sit back. Marco, and then he turns the mic to me. Marco's, and then I say nature, the right answer. Marco's nature and his personality and his heart is like a sloth he beats to his own drum sloths are he's pretty super awesome animals slow. have you ever seen a if sloth if you've seen Zootopia that is Marco the I'm pretty sure his real his name was Flash and I'm pretty I'm sure I'm pretty sure that's an oxymoron at the end of the movie he was driving a really Flash fast, is an oxymoron. fast car alright Sunny says how are you able to get seven loans on one property question mark you be creative. Honestly, so I'm not going to take credit for that at all. That was Marco. Marco knows how to talk to people. He's like really good at negotiating. So he's the king of negotiation, honestly. It ultimately comes down to knowing the deal, making sure that no matter what, the deal is going to be sound and that each of the lenders are going to be taken care of. But then additionally, building the trust through um, – through maybe your character, your personality experience. starting these, out, these people, and then later on your experience. The seven people were not, these are not first time lenders to us. These are people that have we've proven concept with in the past four years. So these are people who have given us a couple different properties worth of money, and then we've paid them back or we've paid off the loan. So they're trusting us into a bigger project like multifamily. Yes. Uh, Dee Dee says, where are the Didi, kids? Dee the kids have been asleep we're for- pop, pop. Like an hour. And they are out. We put the kids to bed. That's like why we're summer. so happy right now. Look how happy we are. We put the kids to bed at like five thirty. It was like which people closer think to is six. insane. People think that's so crazy, but it's like no, no, no. We don't ever get free time. So like, as soon as you can go to bed, good night. I don't yeah. care if you. I tell my daughter, I don't care if you go to sleep, girl. But you lay in your bed and you be quiet. You can sing songs. You can like make up a story in your head. But lights out. Lay there. Be quiet. <laughs> All right, here we go. B goes, do you have lenders for the Nashville area? I am a contractor looking to get into my first fix and flip. M maybe Jade so. Longhorn Investments, I think they might lend in Tennessee. Not double, not sure. You might need to double check that. 
But worst case scenario, just Google Nashville hard money, a lot hard money lenders and you'll find a ton. Go to a lot of networking events. Yeah, that's a great way to find private lenders. Mike's in here. Lamar says, how do you structure that type of deal? Seven private money lenders. Just make sure all the document is in place. We want to make sure everybody's on the warranty deed with vendors lien. We want to make sure everybody gets a deed of trust and everybody gets a promissory note. You can have an attorney draft it all up. Real simple. Uh, Heather goes, can I help raise capital for someone else's deal? And if so, how would it be structured so I can get paid for the capital I bring to the deal? Yes, you totally can. You could totally raise capital for one of our deals. We could hook you up. <laughs> Uh, I mean, again, honestly, that's a negotiation. So you and I, we talk, uh, you bring us the money, we, you pair us up and we figure out what works but for But honestly, everybody. you should try for yourself first. Have confidence that you can do it. But I it. won't deny your Fight money. Fight the fear, right? I won't deny but it. But if you're not comfortable or you want to do it a few times to learn the process or whatever, I'd be glad to work with you. But honestly, you can do it for anyone. And yeah, you can just write up some sort of agreement. Uh, maybe the agreement with the... Uh, lender that you're bringing to the party or to the deal or from the investor who's receiving the money you can write an agreement with them or both um akeem says inbox to dd all right b says what is the criteria to secure a loan are your leads fixed and flip friendly uh what's our criteria to secure a loan you just need the, the proper don't, documentation, which is really three documents. We don't have like a criteria other than we require a three-year balloon minimum and the documentation to go in place. And that's not necessarily for us, but also to protect the lender on their side. So they've got protection. What are the three main documents? The promissory note, deed of trust, and why am I drawing a blank? See? Uh, Family feud? <laughs> she would do terrible. She'd do terrible. <laughs> oh, it's the warranty deed with Bender's Lane. There you go. All right. It's been a long day, and I cool. kind of have a headache because those two kids, when I picked them up from school, gave me hell. Marco came home and I was like, mm, I was like, mm. I just left you like an hour ago and you were like skipping through the door. And now you're I don't know. The baby's out. got weird separation anxiety thing going on. And I like just put him down and he's freaking out. And then our daughter is just like me, but three. And so we butt heads a lot because she's Imagine so that. damn sassy. All right. <laughs> she's so sassy. Quantel, Wendy, Nick, Joseph are all watching. Thank you for watching. B has another comment. LOL. Yeah, that's all me. My credit sucks, but my work is on fleet. Well, there you go. See, you don't have to worry about your credit. We don't even look at our tenants' credit because I really don't care what you did in the past as long as you make the income the and income. you can like pay every single month on time. I don't care. Didi and Akeem connected. Ferris is watching. Tyrone B says, do y'all ever meet all your lenders in person or have you met some over the phone and never met? So all of our lenders we know in person. But some of them we've met through like the phone or email or whatever, and then we've well, okay. connected. So like, but everybody people I think is that in person people that like point. my parents have connected us with, I've known through like their church, and I might not have had like a great relationship with them, like just because I didn't know them or they're older than me, so I just never had a re re reason to connect with them. But we always have met with all of our private lenders. I think that helps build the rapport and build that totally. trust connection. I don't know that you would get that same kind of level of trust between people if you don't know their character by being in front of them. Yes. Plus, you know, you're asking them to give you tens of thousands, thousands. of dollars. I mean, I personally, if I it's had that kind of money, them. I don't know that I would ever lend to somebody I didn't actually know or meet. But person. it's possible, and I'm sure It's it possible. Happens. It depends on, like, the scenario, really. Burton says, LOL, I'm pawning the jewelry. That I would, would pawn happen. our jewelry to make sure I would pawn Marco. Paid to make sure our lenders got I paid. I would pawn Marco to make sure our <laughs> lenders are paid. All right. It'll at least give me a vacation for a little bit. Tyrone says, how do you compile a bunch of smaller investors' funds into one deal and make the separate payments? How do you... So, the same way. Every every investor has their own loan, whether the loan is five grand or a hundred grand. Or thirty grand. I mean, and thirty dollars. I mean, $30. not $30, I'm sorry. That would be, I meant the money. You're working your way up. 30, every dollar counts in these deals. $30 goes a long way. That would be like you can pay for nails. Cent. That'd be like a cent monthly payment or something. I didn't mean $30, $30 for the loan, the payment. I meant like $30 for like the monthly payment back. I, I don't know. The it's more late. this video this goes late. on and on, the more I'm like, I cannot take you to any game show ever. I would not win. Uh, anyway... <laughs> Uh, every every loan has its own documents that we went over already, 
and in those documents it's going to lay out what their payment is so some of our payments are like very minuscule it's like, like 90 dollars, 90 bucks a month some of them are a thousand dollars a month just depending on the size of the loan yeah some are like yeah more than that everything is just has an amortization schedule and you pay based on that kirk jumped in we were talking kirky. about how we missed you we were today. just talking earlier about how we missed old kirky mm-hmm. boy cassie says love this video lots of great questions and answers y'all are so cute well half of us are that would be me i'm just curious who that is that's not marco uh, Craig Hill says, interested in learning more on how to be a private lender. Well, Craig, keep on watching. And you can watch this on repeat. We're actually thinking about... Not a about... private lender, a private investor. Okay, okay, yes. You want to lend to us? See, you're not going to be good on any Well, you're shows. holding the phone. I'm also reading right, over your here. shoulder. What? This... Thank you. Is this better? Hey. Is this good? Yeah, All right. Um, B says, so what I'm hearing is gaining their trust is key to killing it on securing a relationship and finding, and then that's where it ended. But yes, yes and finding it is key. funding. Yes, finding funding. Yes, that is critical. You have to you, build relationships. You, you have to get their trust. I don't know that it would even work if you didn't have trust in a relationship, in any relationship. You would you trust. get? You have to have trust in every relationship, in a marriage, in a friendship. And a business partner all over. You have to trust your You're doing people. great. You're doing great. I am. I'm doing wonderfully. Yes. If you just imagine yourself, would you give money to anyone you don't trust? Even if it was like a hundred bucks, yeah. knowing they were going to pay you back bucks. at some point. No. Yes, exactly. Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for jumping in. Steven. Hello. Hello. Andrew. Haven't seen you in like years. Hope everything is well. Lamar. Any upcoming events? Yes. Next Thursday, we have the Wonder Chamber here in San Antonio. It's the Hilco Homes event. We've got some sponsors like Longhorn Investing is investments are going to sponsor. We've got uh, Freetail Brewery. They're in, uh, sponsoring. Um, unlimited Contractor Property Services or Unlimited, unlimited con- Property Contractor Services. It's they're one sponsoring of and then Kangan Water is sponsoring. Yes. Well, those are all the sponsors. That contractor is a contractor we use. We really love them. And we're doing that event, but it was you had to get a ticket. So if you didn't get a ticket, which sounds like you didn't get a ticket because you didn't know about it, then you'll have to go to the next one. But we're going to start doing these every quarter. Um, and every time it's going to be something different and fun. Yes. Ashley's in here. Ashley, hope everything is well. Uh, Juan, Robin. Hey, Robin. Uh, Junior as well. And then B finally got it to, here to the end. Mike just jumped in. Hey, Mike. Uh, B says, so the three docs needed are deed of trust, warranty lien, and what was the doc? It's warranty deed with vendor's lien and then the promissory note. Yes. Yes, there you go. Promissory note. And you're going to, fourth document that's not necessary, but you need eventually is an amortization schedule. That's just going to be like all the payments with the breakdown of forever. So it's a pretty long document. Yes. Uh, Mike says, what's up? Hello, Mike. Uh, Lamar says, kind of a short notice on the Wonder Chamber for him. However, is there anything else coming Not, up? We don't have anything booked right now, but that's one of the things, like, I think probably by this weekend, we're going to try and sit down and solidify some of the next couple events just because we're super planners. Like, I get everyone out there who's got a plan if they've got kids or other stuff going on. So we'll always try and give a good notice um, so you guys can sign up and schedule it. What, what what type of events would you like to see? Yes. Would you like an event on private money? We were talking about we were potentially talking about... doing one. Yeah. That's maybe a little more exclusive, a little bit more in depth. Just, just so we can like really hash the details out. Um, Pradeep just joined, joined in. Hello, hello. Thank you for jumping. America, the America twins. Hello, hello. Madrid twins. Excuse me. But thank you for jumping in. All right, since we're getting towards the end here, what are your thoughts on... Private money? Yeah, like some final thoughts. We love private money. Any... Private money is great money. It's made us. (laughs) That was just funny to watch. It's A lot of people have like the, um, the roadblock, the mental roadblock, because they're like, I just don't know how to ask people for money. And like, I get it. It's not the easiest conversation, but as you do it and as you like, I don't know. It's just, you just got to do it to like learn how to like be better the next time and like learn what phrases to use and what not to use. And really it's not, 
it's not about like tricking anybody into giving you money. It's really just about like that connection. Like I think the people who've ever lent to me and Marco know that we're like pretty ethical. We like to make sure that we do everything by the book that we're not going to be like shady or do things, you know, that could get in trouble. We could get in trouble for. So I think they just know our character by knowing us. And like a lot of the people, some of the first private lenders that we got were some people that Marco knew from like years ago. So like this wasn't like, hey, we just decided to start a business and we're just asking people for money and they're just giving it to us. This is like over probably a decade, like 10 years Marco has been doing this. So it's 10 years in the making of Marco building relationships and being like a good person and authentic and genuine and like a good, you know, just good hearted. Like people know, you kind of know those out there who are really good and those that maybe are questionable and you're like I don't know like there's always people in you know there's just they're all out there <laughs> I'm the, just not really saying anything correctly I need to go to bed no I think that was great you didn't have to go unconfident there at the end I, I okay so <laughs> the big component for me particularly was I had been doing agent work for a long, long time. I had been wholesaling for a long time. I was helping run other companies as far as like acquisition teams and whatnot. And it wasn't until Hillary and I got married and we found out we had our first child on the way that I was like, you know what? I need to go after my own investment property. All these years, I keep telling everybody that I was going to and kind of make up different scenarios in which, you know, I was eventually going to get to it. And really, I just had a lot of mental blocks and fear. I had fear in me. And it wasn't until I said, you know what? It wasn't I'm until make... our honeymoon in the Bahamas. He put his book down and he looked at me and he said, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> we had just gotten married. It wasn't I do had... you. It was do this. Or both. <laughs> <laughs> it was the honeymoon. Okay. He put his book down. I had just quit my job like I like literally the day before we left on our honeymoon like I was free forever and I was gonna I didn't know what I was gonna do but it wasn't real estate it was just like I was free Marco was gonna bring home the bacon and I was just gonna like be free spirited and go do art because y'all that those of you who know me probably don't even know that I have a bachelor of fine arts degree and art is my passion and art is my history um, and I was going to go do something in the art world, whether it was like blow glass for a living or go to Southwest School of Arts and just like teach classes. But I didn't know what that was going to look like. And my course has gone like this and like totally the opposite direction in real estate. But um, anyway, our honeymoon, I had just quit. Marco looked at me and said, I would like to quit. We had just been married about a month and I just found out I was pregnant. And so when he put his book down and looked at me and said, let's do this, I'm going to quit also when we get back, it was really scary, but super exciting. And that's kind of like how we just became. We just jumped in. We came into existence. We just jumped on we in as a little family. We our jobs. We got married and she was pregnant with our first baby on the way. And we said, we're going to do it. But honestly, that's what it came down to. In my mind, I was like, you know what? I'm tired of saying all these different things. I'm tired of doing wholesale deals over and over. I want to acquire my own investment properties. And what that mental shift was, was I'm going to just call up everybody, anybody and everybody. I don't care if I embarrass myself. I'm going to call them and say, hey, would you lend to me? Would you give me money? Would you partner with me? Our first two deals, we did partnerships. And so that's what it needs to be for you. And a lot of people think, oh, that person doesn't have any money or this person. Oh, the, you know, they would just say no. No, don't do that. Like you have to put it out there for even it to be a consideration. And like I said, if they're not ready now, that doesn't mean in a year from now or three years from now or five years from now that they're not going to be ready. And you might need, you know, the money might work out in five years where you partner up with them and you do like a multifamily with other people. And so you just want to tell everybody. That's the key is to tell everybody what you're doing so that you eventually get paired up with the right people. If it truly is your goal, to acquire properties and build your cash flow portfolio. There's a lot of ways to do it. And if you're trying to do it, in my opinion, the fastest way, in a way that has the best long-term approach, utilizing private money, then you have to be willing to face your fear. You have to be willing to have embarrassing and awkward conversations because, yeah, there's going to be a ton of conversations that uh, end in a no. And they're going to be saying, no, I don't want to do that. But there will be a number eventually that will be a maybe and a yes and that will be the seeds of your potentials 
to get that 10 grand, the 30 grand, the 100 grand. And then that might be your first deal, your third deal, your fifth deal. And that's what it all starts from. But you have to be willing to ask. You have to be willing to put yourself in the position to even ask somebody, would you, if I found the right deal at the right number, starting this new year, 2020, would you look at it and partner with me on it? Be vulnerable. Boom. Yes. Look at Brene Brown. Yes. Vulnerability. All right. So at 6.55, at 7 o'clock, Hernando RC is going to go on. Uh, he's part of our Hilfa Homes team. He's going to do a Facebook Live. If you're loving the Facebook Live right now, you're welcome to go to that. But really quick before we go, where do we leave off here? Yeah. This one? Mm-hmm. B says, perfect. Y'all are awesome. By the way, I enjoyed the work ethic y'all display and so down to earth. We definitely are trying to work hard and we try to be down to earth too. Humble. Uh, Mike says, I'll rewatch if you cover, but have you used self-directed IRA or checkbook for PML? Or private money lenders. A lot of our private money lenders utilize a self-directed IRA to lend money to us. Mm-hmm. Anthony says, can you buy a ticket for the Wonder Chamber? No, it was free. It's a free event, but you have to have a ticket because the space is very limited. So I think it's all sold out right now. We Sorry. bought out the whole place, uh, which you can go at any time on your own accord, on your own time for a ticket price. But for this event, we bought out the whole place and we were providing it for free to the marketplace. But there's only limited spots and it's all sold out. And everyone that jumped in, we have Stephen, Mike, Justin, Isaiah, Victor, Estacio, Jaime, and Joe that jumped in at the end. Thank you for watching and participating. We will be doing more videos. Thank you for the love and support. Now that we have time, we will do more. Have a good night. Bye, guys. Peace.